okay, people have way too many problems. And I'm not talking about like, can't gain weight, can't gain muscle, has an upside down, you know what, aka me. I'm not talking about those problems, so don't worry, you know. When I say people have too many problems, I mean like, I don't even know if I even am a misanthrope anymore because it's like, um, I'll get into that in a minute, I'll get into that in a minute. When I say people have too many problems, I mean shit like, I saw something and, when I say people have too many problems, I mean like, You said something, and I'm mad now. Or I saw something that I didn't like. Or I heard something that I didn't like. And don't get me wrong. I'm I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because there is like to be honest, there is some stuff that I too am offended by, or at least don't like. Like there, like for instance, there's certain groups out there. I guess you could say that I don't agree with and I don't like looking at it like there's certain times with this certain there's certain times where um I just can't hear someone's opinion I don't you know this there's even like fucking I wouldn't say it I wouldn't say events but there's like certain like I wouldn't say the event I don't even know what they are but there's just certain times within the not a holiday. I don't mean like a hol. I, I don't even know. Like, this, like, 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 like a meme. Like a stupid meme that came out and now it's popular and people are talking about it, or something trending. You know, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm offended by something trend. Like, I'm offended by something that's trending. Not or not even offended, but just annoyed or just something. Like, don't get me wrong. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I may be a hypocr hypocrite, but I try, with me, I try to just isolate myself. I don't argue anymore. That's my new approach. I just shut off the laptop for a whole month uh, or whatever, and oh, I, I want to try to do that. But anyways, just, just to wrap up this video, even though I've begun it, began it. People have too many problems. Um... I was saying something, you know, I was, I assumed something of someone and they got offended. Not even joking, not even, you can't even assume anything, you can't even assume things anymore. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm going to be kind of, this video might get a lot of hate because I'm going to be a hypocrite. Like, 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 for instance, I hate it when people assume I'm gay for liking cross-dressing males, or just males in general. I hate it when people assume that. They never think of bi. They always think, like, they like they always think that I'm gay, but they never think of bisexual, or whatever, you know what I mean? Or pansexual. I'm, I'm bisexual, but you know what I mean, like. So, um, I, this video might get, like, commentary community might be like, you're a hypocrite, but just forget myself for a second. Like, just forget myself for a second. Of how I hate it when people assume things about me. Just forget me. I don't exist for a second. Let's talk about other people, shall we? You can't even assume things anymore. Because I said to someone, like, the person has dark interests and dark thoughts and I assumed that they didn't like it it was a part of the escape but they said it themselves they said it themselves they write messed up stories to mix their fantasies with the fears so I said Oh, so like you take your your messed up, obsessive and compulsive thoughts, and like it, like like it's it's weird. It's like they they like they claim that 
they write all this messed up stuff to mix their fantasies with their fears, you know, their phobias. And I, and I assumed it had to do with the obsessive compulsiveness. I assumed it. I, cause, cause it's like, cause there is legitimate people who, they have messed up thoughts, but it, but it, but it, but it ain't their own. It ain't their own. Like, I've met people where they have thoughts obsessive, I met people where they have thoughts obsessively about, like, um, I can't think of an example, but just something distressing. And it's a part of the obsessive compulsive thoughts, right? Like, I keep having thoughts of, uh, I don't know, just, just something like moldy cheese or something. I know that's a bad example, but you know, like rotting food or the trash or just poop or just something like poop, pee, something like that, right? And I assumed that the messed up story writing had to do with the obsessive compulsive issues. These intrusive thoughts. I thought the messed up story writing had to do with the intrusive thoughts. Fucking blah, throwing up the exorcist moment, right? It, it bothers me, it's intrusive. Apparently not. Apparently not because, apparently not because this person replied to me saying don't get, like, they said stuff like, this is going to sound over the top, but please don't assume stuff about me. My messed up interests and my messed up thoughts have nothing to do with my intrusive thoughts. Like, apparently their intrusive thoughts were way different from their messed up, death metal sounding storytelling thoughts, apparently. I mean, I even commented that. They write this fucking fucked up shit, this role playing shit. I literally commented, sounds like a death metal song. Cause it fucking does, it fucking does. It doesn't sound like some fucked up role playing thing. It doesn't to me. It sounds like, chugga chugga chugga. that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like a, but, but apparently, I'm not trying to be rude, but apparently, those interests have nothing to do with their intrusive thoughts. And I assumed. I assumed. So apparently, this person has intrusive thoughts with messed up thoughts, and they like it. I know. I, I, me, personally, it's like... I just have messed up thoughts, but I like it. See, I don't want to go on a tangent, but apparently if you have messed up thoughts and you hate it, that's normal. And that's considered obsessive compulsive. You know, it's considered, it's considered, you know, it's considered, and it, it, if you have messed up thoughts and you hate it, like poop or whatever, that's, it, it's it's normal, but it's like it's still like it, like like cause cause a th like a like a a therapist or whatever was like I don't know I was like a therapist replied to some like th this is whole this whole like I once read on a website I have intrusive thoughts and I hate it is that normal that's what someone said once on a website and a psychiatrist or whatever replied with well if you're having messed up thoughts and you hate it. That's normal. So it's like, if you have messed up thoughts and you like it, then it's abnormal, apparently. Then I guess I'm abnormal then, because I have messed up thoughts. I have messed up thoughts. Like, like I said, I have fetishes. I have messed up fetishes. And I like them. Like, it doesn't fucking bother me. Um, sometimes I get messed up uh, black metal thoughts of like the devil doesn't bother me it would bother a religious person doesn't bother me um it would bother someone uh you know with i don't know just you know what i mean like so yeah it's like apparently i don't want to go on a tangent apparently i'm abnormal because i do like my messed up thoughts of weird senses because, you know, like, I, I, I crave senses, like, I crave senses, 
um, not sensory processing disorder. I'm not, ta I'm not talking about, I'm, I'm not talking about sensory processing disorder. I'm talking about like my fetishes, like BDSM and stuff like that for gratification, you know what I mean? To feel something or to, or to feel, you know, whatever, to, to see, to whatever, to taste, to, to what, to whatever it is, right? But it's, but it's good though, but it's good though, it's like, I don't know, I don't know, um, like, it's not ruining my life or getting me in, 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 in whatever, you know, but I just don't want to go off topic with that, but yeah, it's like, I mean, I think it's cool that the person has weird thoughts and they like some aspects of it, because they can relate to that, I think that's cool. But I don't think it's cool that they had to flip out over me and say, you can't assume, you can't assume, so I can't, I can't rely on the textbooks now. If someone, I can't, you know, I can't do that. I'm too, I have, I have, I have stereotypical thinking. I put people in stereotypical boxes, apparently. But to get to the main point of the video, I don't think I'm a misanthrope anymore. Or like... To be honest, I, I think it's like this. I think it's like this. I don't hate people for themselves. I hate the problems. Now it could be true that I hate the I could hate I could hate their interests. I could hate their beliefs. They believe that the earth is flat or conspiracy nonsense. I hate their opinions. They think that dogs are better than cats you know I can hate people's opinions and likes but hating people's problems is really strong within me because I like the person like someone commented this on one of my misanthrope videos I relate they said this I relate to this they said they said I like the person at first but once I learn the flaws I start to hate the flaws not it, for me, it's not necessarily hating the person themselves, just the flaws. Like the person on the YouTube that commented that, he hates people's flaws and, uh, like he hates people's flaws and the person themselves. With me, it's not necessarily hating the person, it's just I wish they were not suffering. I wish they didn't have all these fucking issues of, ah, this it's too loud in here. It's too bright in here. Like, I don't suffer from any of that. I wish they, did, I wish they didn't have to deal. And I know someone's going to be like, you're a hater, Gnostic Mind Train. No, it's actually the opposite. I wish they didn't have to go through this. I wish they didn't have to go through everything is too loud for them. Everything is too whatever. Everything, offend, everything offends them. Everything, like it tastes too, it tastes bad for them. They don't, they what, they have to suffer. Like it's, it's actually the reverse. I, w I actually have too much empathy for them. I wish they didn't have to go through this. They look a certain way and they hate it. I wish they didn't look that way. I wish they were average. I wish they were normal. I wish they were just perfect. You know, they agree with me as well. Like, some guy hated something about himself, and I said, you want to be normal? He's like, yeah, you know? But anyways, yeah, it's like people have way too many fucking problems these days, you know? There we go. People have, I'm not, and again, I'm not hating on the people. The, I'm not trying to be enter, ward, heal, ist. Like, oh, you're being blankest. You're being blankest, Gnostic Mind Train. That's against whatever. No, I'm not being against anything. I'm against problems in life. I wish people didn't have to wake up with a bottle in their hand. You know what I mean? I just hate people's problems. That doesn't make me bad. That actually makes me good. You know? There's people that advocate for that bullshit, you know what I mean? I watched the video on Corey Taylor 
talking about how he wakes up, he used to wake up with a bottle in his hand and he would go to sleep with the bottle and one guy was like, yeah, and then Corey Taylor was like, no, 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 that's a problem. I agree. It's a fucking problem. I wish people didn't ha I wish people didn't have these fucking problems. Addicted to the internet. Addicted to what the fuck ever. I wish people didn't. I'm not being an a-hole about it. I'm being a fucking savior. I'm trying to save these people like Jesus. You know what I mean? I wish they didn't have these fucking problems, you know? I don't even, so like I said, I don't even know if I'm a misanthrope anymore. Because I like the person. I can be attracted, even physically attracted to the person. But once they open up about their divorce, or about their addiction to fucking The Sims, or what the fuck, Among Us, or whatever, the Minecraft, or whatever. I'm just like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Don't want to deal with that. I think that's, I love Cor... Um, I used to have a friend called Corey from Kentucky. I don't know if he watches me anymore. I, fucking Corey. Not, again, not Corey from Slipknot, my ex-friend, Corey. Um, Corey A. I'm not even going to finish his last name, but, you know, Corey from Kentucky. Um, he fucking ghosted me. And got rid of me as a friend because he has so much fucking problems. So much fucking problems in his life. If only he did not have those problems, we would still be friends. But because he has these problems, he has to ghost me. And now he officially removed me like a while ago this was. It's so bullshit. I wish problems didn't fucking exist, you know? We would still be friends if he was perfect, if I was perfect, if everyone was perfect. But no, these fucking bullshit, bullshit has to exist, you know? So I'm not trying to be an a-hole, I'm trying to be the opposite. People have way too many fucking problems, and like I said, that guy I talked about in the beginning, well, I assumed that his, 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 his story writing had to do with his, his, uh, intrusive thoughts, when they, really they were two completely different things. Like this dude has intrusive thoughts. I don't even know what his intrusive thoughts were about. I don't know. I don't know what it was exactly. I don't know if it was washing his hands. I don't know what it was. But apparently, he suffered from intrusive thoughts, and he had weird thoughts. But he liked the weird thoughts. Like for instance, he he's a um, this guy was a what the I don't even know what you call it. I don't know what the professional award for it is. But he had a thing for uh, for puke for vomit. Um, you know, it's kind of weird, but for normal people, but it's, but he had no issues with that. Like, that doesn't bother him. And his messed up uh, story writing also did not bother him. But apparently he has these intrusive thoughts, which I don't even know what they are. He never even told me. I, I assume it could be hand washing I assumed it could be it could be anything I don't even know I don't even know what it was I don't know I don't know what it was but whatever it is those vague intrusive thoughts had nothing to do with his sexuality had nothing to do with his story writing and I assumed and I apologize but he overreacted I don't know just people have way too many problems you know what I mean like I just, that's the reason why I'm a loner. I don't have social anxiety. I don't have any other social communication disorder, in my opinion. I'm not schizoid. I'm not any, any of that. I just have trauma, and I'm trying to avoid my trauma, and I'm also trying to avoid drama. I would love to get in bed with someone, kissing them and stuff like that. But they're going to open up about their problems, about their ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the fuck friend, whatever, whatever. Can't deal with it. I'm not socially awkward. I don't have a social, I don't have a social communicate, whatever. I don't have any of that. I'm just, uh, uh, I don't, I don't even know if I even am a misanthrope because I don't actually hate people. I just hate their problems. 
all their interests, all their opinions, but the physical person I don't hate, you know? I think people, I think, not everyone, not everyone, but I think there's a lot of attracted people, there's a, there's a lot of attractive people out there. And just outside of attractiveness, there's just a lot of good looking people, just as a friend or whatever. I don't even think I'm a misanthrope, so I wouldn't say I'm a misanthropic, misanthropic loner. I'd say that I'm a traumatic loner. I'm a loner with trauma who hates drama, <laughs> you know? That's the end of the video. Um, everywhere I go, it's, again, I'm not trying to shame, but everywhere I go, it's always fucking... This is too loud, this is too bright, I have an addiction to fucking Candy Crush or something. And it's just so fucking annoying. You know? I wish people would get better, I just wanna meet, I just wanna meet a decent person that has like one or two problems. Maybe they have back pain. I can tolerate that shit, like that shit, that ain't a problem. Like, if you have back pain, or like six fingers, or whatever, like, that's not a problem. It's when you fucking complain about being fucking whatever, about I can't stop playing the video games. I just, I'm sick of that, you know? That's then the video. That, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.